All right, this is the Home Run, or the HD Home Run Connect Quattro. It's a four tuner TV receiver, and I'm gonna see what's in the box. Let's check it out. Got a little bit of a uh, advertisement, quick start guide, a little quick start guide. Look how tiny this thing is. Wow. Just a, I don't know what to compare it to. Here's a pair of scissors, I guess. Smaller than a pair of scissors. And we've got some stuff on the back there. The device ID, Ethernet connection, antenna connection, and power. That's all we got on that. Tiny thing. Love it. What else is in this box? Um, power supply, maybe? Yep. Little, little uh, transformer wall wart little thing. And Ethernet cable. So you can plug it into your home network. Nice. Cat 5e. 1.83 meters if you care which i don't care but there it is what else is in this box air this box is full of air all right let's go get this thing hooked up and see what we can do with it All right, so this is probably not the best setup for these things, but I'm gonna remove the old Tableau, which by the way, I've never had any issues with, but I'm looking for a all-in-one solution with the HD Home Run on my Plex server. And since Tableau doesn't have integration, I'm gonna use the HD Home Run. There's the old Western Digital hard drive that's my uh, storage for my Tableau. So I'll pull this out of here. Disconnect all the network cables. And the hard drive cable. Pull this out here. Unhook the unhook the antenna connector. Okay, that's out of the way. And now we put in the HD home run in its place. This is a much smaller device, so it will fit in here a lot better. You probably can't do this with one hand, so I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got my HD Home Run powered up and plugged in, and it's booting up. Again, it's not the ideal location for it, but it's where my antenna cable comes into the house from the attic. And so I've got all my network drops and information, or my network drops in here, a little switch it's plugged into. And since it's much smaller than the Tableau, it'll fit in here a lot better. Plus, I don't need the external hard drive. So let's go get it all hooked up and integrated into my Plex server. Okay, now that I've got the HD Home Run plugged into the power and the network, I went to my computer here and I typed in my.hdhomerun.com and we're learning I'm learning just like you're learning. So let's uh, let's figure this out together. So I'd seize my Quattro uh, with, uh, looks like an outdated version of firmware with 59 channels. So I'm gonna click on this. And first thing we're gonna do is install and reboot the latest firmware version. And it's upgrading in progress. Okay, my firmware is now up to date, so Click here again. Let's look at our channel lineup. Uh, let's look at our tuner status first. All right, obviously not in use. No one's using it yet. And let's look at our channel lineup. See what channels it found. Uh, there's my NBC channel and my CBS and my PBS and my ABC and I don't know what else is on here. One of these is Fox. I don't know. I'm going to find it. 
It looks like it's got more channels than my Tableau. One of these is my Fox. I think it's that one. All right. Now that we're all set up, let's go ahead and I'm going to go to Plex now. And let's see if we can just get Plex to recognize that device. And set up a DVR service on the Plex. Oops. And I'm going to go to settings, scroll down here to live TV and DVR, and we're going to set up our Plex DVR. So it's already found my Home Run Connect Quattro. So we'll use that one and continue. It's loading channels. So we found 59 channels. Great. Everything else looks just fine. Let's see if that comes up here. English, postal code. So this is so we can get our TV guide, our electronic guide. So I'm putting my zip code, which is that. And now we're finding the best guide. I'm going to take a few moments. Great. Okay. Now these are the channels I want to get rid of. All right. So I should just have four or five. So I've got my NBC, CBS, PBS, ABC, and Fox and Ion. All right. Let's continue. You can now find your guide and recordings in the sidebar under live TV and DVR. When we're grabbing the guide data, you can start browsing. It will automatically update it to tell. Okay, so let's view the guide. We're building the guide. Um, so I need to look and see. Oh, there we go. I want to pin this to the sidebar so I can find it. There we go. Now, how do we watch live TV? Let's find out. Let's browse, maybe. We are scheduled. I have nothing scheduled yet. The guide is still downloading. Hmm. I would think I could just uh, pick a channel and start watching. So I suppose we must hang tight while we're downloading all the data for what's on. So I'll give that a minute. I'm watching it up here at 41% and see if I get the list of channels. All right, so it's been a few days since I installed the HD Home Run Connect Quattro and you can see that I have my guide all set up here. These are the channels that I wanted and they're all working just fine. Just take a quick run through what happens in the Plex DVR. So on the what's on section, you get basically what's running right now or what shows are on right now. Some things that are starting soon. Uh, it shows you what's coming up on the later evening primetime area and some of my upcoming shows that I have recording. And of course there's the guide again. And I don't know how far this guide actually goes out into the future. Uh, it just, I'm, I'm able to go till next Wednesday. So maybe it's seven days worth of guide data. And what I like about this is I can choose next Wednesday. And then if I want to look at prime time, it just gives me what's available in prime time. So I don't have to go searching through and then I can check and see if I want to record anything from here. Uh, DVR schedule shows me a calendar view of what's being recorded. And this probably is related to the amount of guide data that's currently available. So it only goes out about a week or maybe farther. And then you have recording priority. So you can take any of these and if you want uh, this show to record 
as a higher priority than this show. If there's some sort of conflict, then you can do that. We can do that with any of the shows. And let's just go to the guide. I'm going to show you a quick uh, rundown of how easy it is to record something. So I'll just choose the news. I'll click the record button. And this is basically super simple. You can record this episode or all, all episodes, new airings or new and repeat. And then the library it goes to in Plex. If you want to do the advanced options, you can choose HD or only or prefer HD, um, replace slower resolution items, allow partial airings. You can start recording so many minutes before the start and so many in, uh, in the recording, so many minutes after it ends, the show ends. And you can limit to any channel. I typically just limit it to the channel that it airs on because for those shows that are syndicated, it's possible you, if you're doing recordings for some show that's a really long running show and it and you're doing all episodes it could potentially record on on the current primary channel and then any other channels where um, the show is syndicated to so i i do it here and since i'm only recording new airings it's probably not an issue at all anyway but i just like to set that airing time uh, I leave that alone because if they change the time the show comes on, I want it to be captured. And then for removal of commercials, you can do the DVR setting, disable it or enable it. I don't have this on right now because I'm still checking uh, loading on my Synology NAS to see how well it does when I'm playing back a show at the same time recording more than one show. Uh, you can see here that the process takes a long time and causes high CPU usage. So I'd prefer just to skip commercials with my remote control rather than doing this um, using the CPU power. Now, if it turns out I have enough CPU to record two or three shows at once and play them back, then I'll turn that on. But more experimentation is needed on my side. I'm going to keep all episodes. Uh, I'll delete them manually if I want to. And I never delete anything after playing them. So then you just hit the record button and you now have a recording scheduled. And if it all works like it's supposed to, you'll see today. Yep. I now have on my, my, uh, calendar view. I have this show I just recorded set up for recording. You can do an agenda view as well. Uh, I believe this is how it looks on the Roku. The agenda view actually shows it in order this direction but I like the calendar view so I can see what's coming up. And that's about it. Uh, it's super simple. Just some thoughts on that. I apologize for the terrible lighting uh, and the background. Terrible. I'm doing this uh, under the, the new pandemic office setup that I have and I've had to share some of my resources with my family. So I have terrible equipment at the moment. Anyway, uh, thoughts are that, uh, it's super simple for me to use. I had a Tableau or I still have the Tableau. Uh, but I, I wanted an all in one media solution. So the HD home run connects directly to my Plex server using the TV and DVR. You do require a Plex pass, but I have that anyway. So there's nothing new for me to purchase or pay for other than the equipment itself. Super simple to use. I've recorded a few shows uh, since I put it in and it seems to work just fine. I don't have any issues with playback or any issues with um, recording anything. Uh, with one exception, I have an Android phone, an Android Sam a Samsung Galaxy S9, and I, for the life of me, can't play live TV on that. I thought it was related to closed captioning. Um, so I disabled closed captioning um, and set it to manual actually in the Plex settings and it still doesn't work right. So I've read some stuff on the forums about it and I'm hoping a fix comes out in one of the later Android apps. It's always possible for me to go to the HD home run app and watch live TV. It's not a deal breaker for me cause I don't watch a lot of live TV on my phone just to watch it. I'll record a lot of things and then we'll watch those shows. But as far as watching it directly, I don't really care. Um, 
I would like everything to work as it should, but it's not a deal breaker for me to, to have the phone not work. Other than that, I've been really impressed. Uh, the quality almost seems better than the Tableau, and it could just be subjective. I, I don't have any scientific way to measure that. It might be drug playing it better. It might not be uh, transcoding it or bringing down the quality from the uh, from the, the original that maybe the Tableau was doing. So that's it. I appreciate you watching the videos. And uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. And if you want any other videos made or have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And then we'll see you next time.